Hey guys, um, it's uh, me here, Seb. I uh, this is one of my first tutorials. Uh, tutorial, tutorials. Don't know what that is. Tutorials. Um, so this is why it's a bit, a bit bad. But today I'm just going to show you how to make some nice looking 3D text with explosion effects, which you may have seen in some other tutorials, but I just thought it'd be an easy one to uh, cover in the first one I do. So you'll end up sort of making a bit like this. And I think that was a firework that just went off and scared the dog. Um, as I was saying before, the dog started barking. Uh, yeah, this is what you make something like this with the nice lighting and uh, these different like... Uh, I call it like a back smash effect because it looks like it's kind of exploded out of the back. But uh, it's, some, it's probably called something else, I don't know. But just an example, this is what it looks like without the... Uh, explosion effects so it's kind of just pretty boring with pretty basic and uh, not this just looks a bit crap really um, I've got another example here of what it looks like um, it's another one I did and just a different lighting setup and a different room it's nice uh, it's kind of nice effect it kind of uh, it's a bit difficult to read sometimes, but that's why you've got to change the effects. But uh, anyway, what you want to do is uh, file new. You want to make your text, so you want to go MoGraph text object. I'm going to type in Steam because I'm just cool. I'm going to change your font to. Uh, I'm going to use. I'm going to use. It's going to be too hard to read. Uh, I'm going to use a. Automate and font. I'm gonna make it spaced a little bit more, and uh, it's gonna make the depth to about 150. Right, I'll do. Uh, don't want any caps on it because that will affect uh, what it looks like. So I just wanna even this up. And uh, you could go to change the render settings to 1280 by 720, but I'm not gonna do it this time. Uh, so right, uh, first thing you wanna do is copy this and paste this so you've got two right here you've got two of the text objects you wanna rename them to backsmash I'm gonna rename this backsmudge to and it's just normal um, and so the backsmash one you wanna move back a little bit just a little bit to kinda mix its own caps and you want to go to this like bendy tool here go explosion effects and you want to drag back no, you want to drag explosion effects into back smash there you go so already you can see there's a lot of different looking forms of this explosion effects but um what you want to make it look like it's just exploded from like the back is you can uh Oh yeah, in the normal one, what you want to do is, uh, I mean in the backsmash one, in the text object, you want to make the subdivision quite high, so say 10 or 11, and it kind of just makes all the um, particles a lot bigger, so there's a lot more of, if you get what I mean, there's a lot more of the writing, but uh, see what that looks like, just render that, yeah, it looks alright, it could make it a little bit more busy, but you want to just be careful. You can go to explosion effects and change the time and stuff. So that might look a bit better. Move it back a bit. Okay. And then you could just go to this tool and just make it a bit bigger, smaller even, and that'll make the radius a lot bigger. Okay. So you want to make some nice materials. Uh, I'm going to probably go colour, I'm going to make a, let's go for a deep red. And you want to make nice reflections, so for now. And bring that down a bit, bring that down a bit. And so just apply that to that, and apply it to the back smash as well. Once you've done that, you... Uh, you probably want to go to your lighting setup which would be this is how I do light and it's a uh, one I got off grayscale gorilla you want to make planes and then you want to 
like direct them towards your writing and then you want to make the effect so let's just put that there and uh, copy that and move it along just make it a better view rotate that a bit make it out, that'll do so you want to make the effect a uh, quite a you want to take lum a color off and speculate you want to make a luminance and you can make it whatever color you want to so make it like an orange or go nice like a deep orange no maybe that's a bit too deep a bit lighter okay and the other one can make a kind of purpley one I'm thinking and purpley no okay let's scrap the idea we'll go with a a subtle orange, right? That'll do. Um, so you want to add that to plane one, plane two, whatever. And when you render now, it makes any difference, but that's because that's too far away. Or oh, you'll need a floor. Oh no, that's yeah. You need a floor behind it. So let's put in a floor. Go to that light object and then put a floor behind it. I'm going to take that around. Move it back a bit. That's it. That should look all a bit better. You can always add um, ambient occlusion and global illumination. Put that down to low, low. And what you want to do with your uh, global illumination is you want to put, change the take off specular, change the color, and load image. Go to uh, I've got a nice soft box HDR I'm at, courtesy of um, Acres HD. Acres HD, I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, this is going to make it look a whole lot sexier. But it's just going to increase the rendering time a lot more. But yeah, sorry for this tutorial being a bit suckage. Um, it's my first one, so don't hate on me because I'll make better ones if you just leave comments below saying what you want to see. And uh, yeah pretty much see big in me comments on what you want to see and I'll happily make more tutorials. Uh, that's it for today guys. Thank you very much. This is final outcome. It's not that good. I could have done a better word but just experiment with explosion effects and different text objects and it will look a whole lot nicer guys. Alright that's the bare essentials, that's the tips. Go out and make something else and leave a, maybe a video response of some speed out or something, I don't know. But anyway, take care guys, thank you for watching, be back soon.